so much contradictory information. Mm. 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 It's very difficult to work yeah, out. Yeah, this is the problem. Not fake. Exactly yeah. which way it's going. Sure well, I'm not convinced that the work is as urgent as this report suggests. So perhaps oh, we should. Oh, come be on! The building is practically falling down. Sorry, Lynn. I don't think Tan had finished. We'll get to you in a minute. Sorry. As I was saying, perhaps we should get a second opinion before we spend any money. Mm, thank you, Tan. What's your opinion, Walter? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a question of safety. So I think we should go ahead. Are you suggesting that someone could get hurt? In my opinion, yes. If you ask me, there is a serious risk of an accident. And it's not a recent problem. Are you implying we should have done something earlier? Much earlier. It's a real concern. Hear, hear. In that case, I agree. We should do something now. I think so too. Thank you, Walter. Well, if there's no... Uh, excuse me, Madam Chairperson. Yes, Barbara. What about the problem with parking? There were no places again this morning. Maybe if you got to work on time. All comments through the chair, if you don't mind, Walter. Parking isn't on the agenda for this meeting. Perhaps you could suggest it for our next meeting, Barbara. Well, if there's no more discussion, we'll put it to a vote. Hear, hear. Today, we're looking again at meetings. In meetings, especially formal meetings, it's important to keep the discussion relevant and to the point. So we're looking at some words and phrases that a chairperson might use to stop irrelevant discussion and interruptions. We're also looking at ways of stating an opinion and agreeing or disagreeing. First of all, notice how Tan states that he doesn't agree with the report. Well, I'm not convinced that the work is as urgent as this report suggests. Tan says, I'm not convinced. He means he disagrees with the report. But by saying he's not convinced, he is leaving himself open to another point of view. Let's look at some phrases you can use to express disagreement. I'm afraid I'm not convinced. I don't entirely agree. I'm not sure about that. I can't agree with you there. I don't think that's quite correct. Notice that all of these ways of disagreeing are polite. If you use stronger terms of disagreement, it can sound rude or argumentative. Well, I'm not convinced that the work is as urgent as this report suggests. So perhaps Don't we be should... ridiculous! Excuse me? When disagreeing, the speaker normally also gives a reason for their opinion and may use an expression showing that it is their opinion. Listen to Walter. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a question of safety. So I think we should go ahead. Are you suggesting that someone could get hurt? In my opinion, yes. Let's practice some phrases you can use to introduce your opinion about something. In my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, if you ask me, the way I see it is this. And of course, you can simply state, I think, or I believe. Notice that Tan asks for clarification of the point Walter makes. He wants to make sure he understands what Walter is saying. Let's look at some ways of seeking clarification and checking understanding. Practice these with Tan. Are you suggesting that someone could get hurt? Are you saying that someone could get hurt? Do you mean someone could get hurt? Are you implying that someone could get hurt? One of the roles of the chairperson is to make sure everyone gets to have their say. All discussion should go through the chair, that is, People talk to the chairperson, not to each other directly. So the chairperson sometimes has to interrupt or stop someone from speaking. Well, let's see how Denise does this. Well, I'm not convinced that the work is as urgent as this report suggests. 
so perhaps oh, we should come be... on the building is practically falling down sorry Lynn I don't think Tan had finished we'll get to you in a minute sorry by saying I don't think Tan had finished Denise is politely telling Lynn that she shouldn't interrupt and Lynn apologizes but what should you do if someone keeps trying to interrupt so perhaps oh come on the building is practically falling down sorry Lynn I don't think Tan had finished we'll get to you in a minute well it's obvious with the evidence yes but we do need to hear everyone's views on this let's just vote on it all in good time Lynn please go on Tan notice that the language the chairperson uses is always polite but firm she uses sorry thank you and please as a way of respecting the other members of the committee although she is in charge on the other hand there is a time factor it may be necessary to cut people short and furthermore if we look more closely at the estimates we can see excuse me sorry tan perhaps we should move on i'm nearly finished yes but we do have to keep an eye on the time perhaps we can come back to that point later I think it's quite important. It is important, but I think it's more important we hear everyone's views on this. Barbara. There were two key phrases used to stop Tan from sending everyone to sleep. The first one, perhaps we should move on, is phrased as a suggestion. But it is said in a firm way with a falling intonation at the end. Practice with me. Perhaps we should move on. This falling intonation makes it a more definite statement rather than a suggestion. The second one was put as a reason for moving on, that time is short. Notice the emphasis on the word do and practice after me. We do have to keep an eye on the time. Remember, we said the discussion has to be relevant. What do we do if someone makes an irrelevant comment? What about the problem with parking? There were no places again this morning. Maybe if you got to work on time. All comments through the chair, if you don't mind, Walter. Parking isn't on the agenda for this meeting. Perhaps you could suggest it for our next meeting, Barbara. When Walter makes a comment directly to Barbara, Denise says, all comments through the chair, if you don't mind. This is a way of reminding Walter of correct meeting procedure. All comments through the chair means he must speak to the meeting, not directly to one person at the table. Denise suggests that parking isn't on the agenda for this meeting. But so that Barbara doesn't feel bad, she suggests it could be discussed at another time. Finally, we've looked at disagreeing. Let's look at ways of agreeing with a point. Are you implying we should have done something earlier? Much earlier. It's a real concern. Here, here. In that case, I agree. We should do something now. I think so too. Agreeing is simpler than disagreeing, as you don't have to state a reason. Repeat these phrases after me. I agree. In that case, I agree. I'll go along with you. I couldn't agree more. That's right. I concur. Absolutely. Let's review some of the other important expressions we've looked at in today's episode. I'm afraid I'm not convinced. Are you suggesting that someone could get hurt? I can't quite agree with you there. As far as I'm concerned, it's a question of safety. Perhaps we should move on. We do have to keep an eye on the time. When giving opinions in a meeting, it's important to use phrases such as in my opinion, from my point of view, or I think, instead of just stating your opinions as facts. This is respectful of other people who may have different views. But when you strongly agree with something someone else says, you can say, hear, hear. That's all for today. See you next time on The Business of English.